Need the Greek and the pill case. I need the Greek. I am a sleepy detective. My dog Flo is a sleepy dog. We have to finish your sleepy cake. It started a few hours ago. It was two o'clock in the morning. I was not busy. I was sleeping. Flo was sleeping. Suddenly, the telephone rang. I woke up. Who be calling me in the middle of the night? Hello, I yelled. It was Rosman. A pillowcase is missing, he said. Can you help me find it? No, I said. And I hung up. The telephone rang again. I answered it. Sleep on another pillowcase, I said. It's not my pillowcase, Rosman said. It belongs to Big Cakes. Your cat has a pillowcase? Of course, Rosman said. I yawned. You want to give me get up from my sleep to look for the cat's pillowcase? Yes, I dropped the big cat to sleep without it. But she keeps texting. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Doesn't he have pillow to sleep on? Of course. That is why he needs a pillowcase. Rasmin was praying in the daytime. But she was even more strange at night. I knew that she would not let me sleep. I will take your pillowcase, I said. I put on my red rubber and slippers. I wrote a note to my mother. Slug and I went into the night. It was damp, dark, dirty, and slippery. We hurry to Rosamond's house. Rosamond looks sleepy and strange, but not in that order. Her four cats were there. Phoenix, Little Hex, and Super Hex were asleep. Big Cat was flying up and down. I said, what does the pillowcase look like? It's beautiful, Rosamond said. I made it myself. I made four of them. One for each cat, all the same. Why were toes around the open and open end, and a pretty ribbon draw the hole? See, Brisbane pointed to her sleeping cat. Big cat's pillowcase was strangely like theirs. I asked. Oh no! Big cat likes to play with his cakes. So now it slashes and shitters. I keep washing it. So it also sharpened and shivered, and he chewed it up the ribbon. So that's gone. Let me get this straight. The missing pillowcase is slashed and shivered, sharpened and shivered, and it has a hole around the end. And w- you want it back? Brisbane smiled. Yes, big cat just love it. When was the last time you saw it? This afternoon, I wash all my cat things. I have full laundry bags full. When I be cat, I even wash the bags. Then I hug everything out to dry. Did you hang for pillowcase? Of course, Rosamond said. One for each cat. Then Annie came over with her fang. I told this was my big laundry day for pets, so we underdressed Bang, and I washed his sweater and neck banana, bandana. Then I hugged them to dry. Then what? When everything was dry, I was put in the laundry basket. Were the four cat, four pillowcases there? Yes. Then what? I brought a basket into the house. I dump everything on my bed. Then I need, and I tired to dress Fang in nice clean clothes. Well, that's the last time I never dressed that dog. What happened? Fang grabbed me. He shoved every one of his head. I ran out of the room. Then I yelled to Annie. To take Fang's clothes home, and take Fang with them. 
and that's what she did. Did you go back to your laundry after that? No, my cat was hungry, so I fed him. Then I read to my cat. You read to my your cat? Fifty minutes you stay. When did you get back to do your laundry? Just before I went to bed, I look for night things. Pillowcase, the pillowcase and night skirts. That's when I found out that Big Hack's pillowcase was missing, and one of Little Hack's night shirts. You're missing pillowcase and night skirt? No, I know where night skirt is, and he took it by mistake. I think she grabs up her arms when she wet. Aha! Uh -huh, perhaps I need to be cat's pillowcase by mistake. No, Rasmus said. I call before I call you. You walk up for two? Well, I found what that she has. Will has night skirt, but she doesn't have pillowcase. See? See what a good detective I am. I need a great gown. Science, you are such a good detective. Solve this case, I said. I slept and I will go back to sleep. Great, Rosman said. I'm the great detective. You will solve this case. Perhaps your pillowcase is still in your, this room. Or you lost it. Between the clothesline and this room. Slug and I will look. Slug and I will look inside and outside. No lock. I said, tell me, has anyone else been in this room? Only any of Fang and my cat. Very well. I must go to Annie's house. Call her and tell her I'm coming. Slug and I went into the night. It was colder than before. I wrapped better tighter around me. I flashed my flashlight on the ground. Perhaps Annie had taken the pillowcase and did not know it. Perhaps she has dropped it between Rosamond's house and her own house. But I did not see it. Annie was waiting inside her own house. Fang was waiting too. He was wearing pajamas and nice kiss. Fang had more clothes than I did. Fang meowed. He still had never grew bigger, and he said, I know you're here, but I don't have a pillowcase. Here is the what happened. Fang and I went over to Rosamond's house. Fang was wearing a neck ban banana and sweater I got him for his birthday. Fang was very snazzy, but after Rosamond washed and dried his clothes, Fang didn't want to wear them. He brought he ground a rustman to one of the rooms. I stuffed fine clothes into the laundry bag and we left fast. Ah, I said, you're in a hurry. Yes. I even little hacked my skirt by the mistake I found when Rustman called me up. I looked in Rustman's laundry bag. I saw Fang's sweater and bandana and will have some nice skirt. Tomorrow I'm going to give back the nice skirt and the laundry bag. Could you also have grabbed the cat's pillowcase by mistake? Any stress? I didn't know, but it's in the laundry bag now. Did you stop anywhere on the way home? Yeah. Yes, the uncle in that day at night din dinner to get some bones for Fang. He saved some leftovers. Aha! Uh -huh. Something couldn't have dropped out of the laundry bag at the dinner or between Rosman's house and the dinner. Dinner. Or between the dinner and, and your house. What street did you take to end?
from the dinner. I went the shortest way, Fang led me. The dogs know the shortest way. Blood wrote his tail. He liked dinners. I thank Annie for her help. Then Slug and I walk out in the night. It seemed colder and darker to the dinner. Slug led the way. I flashed my light. Flashlight. I did not see the poultry. Slug and I went inside. The man behind the counter who looked down at Slug. He said, "Every dog in the town must have been here today, but luck you." I have a bone left. Slug was happy dog. I saw a Pentagon menu. I was a ha happy detective. I had no money, but I spoke up. I'm Nick the Great. None knows me. I will like. I will like to buy plenty and some food. I'll play you tomorrow. Right now, I'm looking for Pat's poultry. The man smiled and turned away. He started to make the pancakes. While I saw clothes stinking out of his back pocket, hmm. I peered over the counter to take closer look, but the man grabbed the clothes and with the counter with it. The claw was small and shattered, and it had plenty of holes. What was this? What is this poultry? What was that cake soup? The man put the plate and the pancake in front of me. I ate and thought, and you must have taken by the taken the poultry by mistake, and I stuffed it into the laundry bag. When I stopped at the dinner. The poultry fell out. After Annie and Fang left, the man saw the poultry and thought, "Thought it was rank." I need the way happy. Had to be sure. I had to get the rank. The man stuffed it back into his pocket. Then he bent over. So I, so did I. Nick the Great, I reached for the rag. I pulled out his pocket. I spread it out. I tried to open it up. I put it open. It was not a poultry. It was just a rag. I stuffed it back into the man's pocket. It was time to leave, but Slug had not finished his bone. Do you have doggy bag? I asked. The man handed me a bag. I put bones in the bag. You can finish your bone at home, I said to Slug. Slug and I went in into the night. Now we must walk the street between the dinner and Rosman's house. I said, "Let the way." Slug and I walked and walked. I did not see the pillowcase. I saw newspaper being devoured. I hear clinking of milk butter. I saw the sun coming up. The moon is going down, and the sun is coming up. And I still have not solved this case. I said. Slug was sniffing the dog bag. Suddenly he put. His teeth into it. Crash! He ripped the bag and grabbed the bone. Was Slug hungry, or was he trying to tell me something? Where was the pillowcase? You would not find it at Rosman's house. It was not in the laundry bag that went into the town. We could not find it in the street or in dinner. Perhaps there was something a resident and Annie had not told me, but they had told me the same story about what had happened at Rosman House, except for one small thing. Suddenly, I knew that Rosman and Annie had both been wrong. Come, 
said to Slug. I said to Slug. Slug and I rushed back to Annie's house. It was hard to do. My bed, my bed slippers was raining out. Annie was still awake. I'm glad about that. Then was fast asleep. I was glad about too. I need a great nowhere to poke this. I said, "You have it." No, I don't. Annie said, "It is. It is not in the laundry bag. I need the grace say that because it is a laundry bag. You were in hurry when you left Rosman's house. You read what you thought was a laundry bag. Well, it looks like one." Annie said, "It was open one, one end." And it had the hole around the end, except the rope was missing from the holes. The holes were up for the ribbon. I said, "But that must not matter." Please show it to me. And he ran up the room. And he ran up the room. She came back holding up something white slash. Sure it. Sunken and shivered, and full of holes from the end. That's a big cast pillow case, I said. I was so busy thinking about the thing you carried from Rosman's house that the that I did not think about what you carried them in. When Slug went after his bone inside the bag tonight. He cared about the bone. No, what the bone was in. Slug and I were thing alike. Slug waved his hair. We were thing wrong. Slug slunk. But how did you know that the laundry bag was the really laundry bag? And yes, I need the gray small. Rosman saw you took the laundry in your arms. But you told me that you took it in the laundry bag. So why wasn't Rosman missing a laundry bag? Because you never took one. And he was staring at the pillowcase. The big hat sleeve on this, she said. It's our sleeve, and he took the pillowcase to me. My friend would never sleep on anything so ugly. Then here's his name. He woke up. He sniffed a rib dog bag. Hands and dreams, I said. Slug and I walked to Rosman's house slowly. I know. I now had holes on the bottoms of both sleepers. This case is over, I said to Slug. Now Big Cat can go to sleep. You can go to sleep. I can go to sleep. I ran Rosman over. I wake. I ran again. I wake. I left the door open. Rosman was standing there, meowing. You woke me up, she said. I need the great hips of your case. I held the pillowcase. I need to get by his face. She thought it was laundry bag. Rosman grabbed her, the pillowcase. Thanks. The big cats will get a good night's sleep tomorrow night. What about now? Oh, he got tired for pouncing. He's been sleeping crying. You left in the house. Nighty night, Nate. Rosamond slammed the door. I need the grade was mad, but I was glad the that the kids was over. Slug and I went home. I went to bed. I felt good. The telephone rang. I need the great answer it. And you ask him if you want to say wrong number. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>